Hello people, Slightly Mad here. This is Boundle. What is Boundle? It's an RPG MMO uh, which has cost me 79p or something similar and um, I don't actually think there's anything apart from sweets in the world you can buy for 79p now or maybe chewing them. It's, like it's not expensive chewing them. So anyway, it's from a single developer so we'll see how this one pans out. Um, this is a basic guide uh, telling you what you should actually be doing. I'm level 7 now. Um, but don't worry about that because I'm going to show you the basics of the game. Okay, you'll get a quest which is in this quest book here to start off and go and kill 30 zombies. Just literally orientate yourself until you see this point in the town here, this smith thing. Head off down the bridge. And then all the zombies will be down here on your right. You start off with two attacks which is here, E and Q. One's a heavy attack, one's a small attack. I usually find that the heavy attack is the one that hits and you slightly turn your mouse as you're hitting to angle the red pointer. I'll show you that in a minute. So there's no sticky targeting in this game. What you actually physically have to do is select your skill. So I'm going to use Q for the heavy attack standing in front of the zombie. See that little red red thing? That's where it's going to hit and I'm using the mouse to steer it. So if you're a spellcaster I'm assuming you have to um, have to angle that spell as well. To loot it's not a click of the mouse like it would be on a normal game, you have to hover over the loot like so and hit space. It's a bit hard to get used to at first but that's how we do it. Okay, so like I said you want to get into the swinger, th turning this mouse and hitting at said creature. Sometimes they'll glitch through you but it's an early access beta game and it's 79p, please remember that. Okay, it's somebody run over the money to collect it, and if you look down here, your orange bar is stamina. I'm a fighter build, so that's what I need to worry about more. My health is above that, and this is the mana for casting, and this lower bar here is your experience bar. Down to your bottom left, you've got your karma. That's if you attack other players, whether or not you're going to be a criminal. Let's talk about that now. If you kill somebody and you become red, if you die, you lose all your items, and you are attackable to players that have got this selected, reds and criminals. If you click this bottom right and you want to be a ganker, you click all. That means everybody is targetable. If you want to join a group per se, um, we don't have a group function on this yet, but if you click only red monsters, it will only attack the monsters and not injure the players, allowing you to group with another player. Okay, let's talk about login and log out. This, where I am now, is an unsafe zone. If I log out, I'll still be in the game world for 60 seconds, allowing me to be attacked. If you run up into the town, as soon as you pass this segment of the bridge, it will say entering safe zone. It is safe to log off there, as we see coming up any minute. Shift is to toggle run on and run off. You're entering a safe zone. See, there you go. Safe to log off now. I'm feeling great. Thank you for asking. Okay, now down to the interface down here. As we spoke before, this is the quest book. This is the spell book. You can select anything in the game. You can be a hybrid of a caster, a fighter, an arranged character. I'm specifically going for a Dread Knight tanky build. Down here is your inventory. You simply click something on and when it's shaded like this it means you're wearing it. You're going to say how do I sell things? Walk over to vendor. It's not a click. It's a space bar when you hover over them. You then open up your inventory and you right click to sell. Your next question is going to be where do I keep my items? In the centre of every tower so far I've come across is a banker. This character here, again it's space, and then you right click to put things in. If you've got a potion, you want to put it up here in the item pouch, allowing you to click it and use it. I've killed the 30 zombies, he says. Where do I go? Down over the ridge. And you're going to be running off to the next town, which will give you a bucket load of new quests. More killing, killing, killing. Simply follow the signposts. And head down across the road, being mindful of the zombies. There is a hardcore function on this game at login. You can select hardcore, it'll give you pretty much three times the amount of experience you'd normally get. But if you die, you die for real. You die for periods of six hours or more, I've heard. I don't know how true that is, it could be an urban myth, but you don't want to be dying. Okay, so you've gone over the hill and you'll come down like a lovely little rocky road like so. And you will notice that there is a new town just over to the left here, behind the wooden palisade walls. That's where your new set of quests are going to come from. 
if you're a naughty type of character you're probably going to want to do this I don't know if it gets taken off you but it says you drop everything so gold to bank click on that and you want to uh, stash your hard earned gold in the bank down here like so so if you get killed you don't drop too much loot for people if you want to see a quest giver it looks like this it's like a big exclamation mark again you got to get close to them hit space bar I wouldn't be saying that hitting a zombie lord and dragging him into the guards would be a good thing to do so please refrain from doing it because you might actually get some uh, free loot with no effort out of it and XP. That makes sense. <laughs> and there we go, random as that is a Russian on an elephant. <laughs> Very basic beginner's guide I know but uh, hopefully that helps some people out that were struggling with the basics of the game. Keep tuned and I might film the rest of Captain's Adventures. Adios.